is a dangerous marine organism threatening our fish supply. Scientists are working to answer that very question now that more and more invasive shrimp are being found along the East Coast. CBS 2's Elise Finch has the story. They're tiny, mostly clear, and look almost like the grass shrimp that are native to this area. But bright orange spots let scientists know that these are invasive creatures known as Japanese shrimp. And their presence in our area could eventually impact the fish we eat for dinner. The things that are on your table wouldn't exist but for these little tiny species that are the staple of their diet. Dr. Lauren Berge is a marine biologist and professor at Centenary College in Hackettstown, New Jersey. She says invasive shrimp have been found along the east coast from Boston to the Chesapeake Bay. Here in the tri-state area, most of the invasive shrimp have been found in relatively shallow waters near docks like this one. Now scientists are catching and studying Japanese shrimp to determine if they carry disease or prey on local shrimp, among other things. Can they detect and get to food faster than our native species? Um, can they avoid a predator better? If they can or don't have any local predators, it could mean problems. Just like with any species that doesn't have a predator, you know, it's going to take over. They're going to eat all of the algae or what have you that, you know, support the bottom of the, the food chain and it's going to affect us even, you know, all the way up through the food chain. At this point, scientists don't know what impact Japanese shrimp are having on local marine life, but their research in the tri-state area is still underway. Elise Finch, CBS 2 News. Scientists will be back in New Jersey in late July to continue their study on those invasive shrimp.